Hi, it's Kerry. Lots of fun at the end today. I'm showing you my sea animals in the aquarium. Can you tell me how many megalardins in today's video? The puffer fish is able to expand by swallowing lots of water or air. The Sally Lightfoot Crab inhabits the Galapagos Islands. The cow-nosed ray gets its name from its cow-shaped nose. A blue-coloured squid, they are very quick as well as agile in the water. The clown triggerfish lives in the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. It has very strong jaws and broad teeth for crunching through hard-shelled invertebrates like sea urchins, crustaceans and mollusks. With its bright colours, it looks like it's wearing clown makeup. A sea turtle. They are reptiles that have a very hard, protected bony shell. The shell is streamlined to help with swimming. It makes them swim faster through the water. The reef squid. Some species are able to propel themselves out of the water. They expel the water in their mantle as a type of propulsion to get airborne. This is a clawed lobster. They live in cold waters. There's another type of lobster called a spiny lobster and they have long antennas instead of claws and they are found in tropical or warmer waters. Lobsters are ten-legged creatures. The queen trigger fish such beautiful colours. It has strong jaws and large strong teeth which makes it easy to bite through the hard body parts of marine creatures. The moray eel. It lives in holes and crevices amongst the rocks waiting for prey. The largest populations of moray eels are found around tropical coral reefs. There are around 200 different species of moray eel and they can range in size from 10 centimetres to nearly 2 metres in length. Moray eels have large eyes and mouths which contain many teeth. The octopus has a massive rounded head, large eyes and 8 distinctive arms. Megalodon is a prehistoric monster shark that first appeared about 20 million years ago. It is the largest prehistoric shark to have ever existed and one of the most powerful predators. Seahorses are fish that have a horse shaped head with a downward pointing snout which is used for sucking up food. The monster fish. This is a make-believe fish. It grasps its prey in those two front arms and uses its big strong teeth to chomp down. I love the colours of this model. It looks really good. The great white shark is the largest predatory fish still living and is probably the most well known and feared shark. The great white's body colour helps camouflage it. They have a white underbelly and a darker top. This gives them some camouflage from prey when they can blend in with the dark ocean floor when viewed from above and with the bright surface when viewed from below. Great white sharks don't have eyelids but they can roll their eyeballs during an attack to prevent injury. This is especially important when they hunt sea lions which have very sharp claws. The orca or killer whale are apex predators. They like to hunt in groups called pods. They work together to target prey and are able to communicate using various sounds. Blue whales are the largest living animals on earth. These magnificent marine mammals grow up to 100 feet or 30 meters in length and can weigh up to 200 tons. The goblin shark is a rare species of deep sea shark. 
It can be easily identified by its long flattened snout. It has a noticeably long head, tiny eyes and five short gill openings. The Ammonite first appeared about 240 million years ago. They went extinct with the dinosaurs about 65 million years ago. The Blue Groper is found in the southern parts of Australia. It is easily identified by their dark blue coloration and large fleshy lips. They have a smallish mouth full of large peg-like teeth for crushing prey items such as crabs, urchins, octopus and squid. The grey whale with lots of barnacles attached to its body. It is a baleen whale that migrates between feeding and breeding grounds each year. The orange frogfish. They are members of the anglerfish family. They are small, short and stocky. The blue spotted stingray has beautiful iridescent blue spots on the top part of its body. The spots are a warning sign that it is poisonous. The megalardin. Its teeth grew to 7 inches or 16 centimetres in length and it would have fed on large prehistoric whales. As teeth are lost, broken or worn down, they are replaced with new teeth. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like sea animals. And now for some fun with a Pliosaurus and Chronosaurus. Thank you for watching my video. Please share my video with your friends. See you again soon.